Hello, folks. I'm Mike DeBruzzo. And I'm Earl Dunn. And we're the Dog Training Guys. In this video, we're going to give you an introduction to the first step in foundation style dog training, which is knowledge. Knowledge is going to be where you're going to gain all your base information. It's where you're going to learn what's normal for, for dogs, what's normal for your dog, and what can you reasonably change and not change. Once you have this base information, it's going to set, the, set the, the base so you can move up all the other foundation layers and ultimately reach your goals. To give you a quick analogy, is suppose you bring your Volkswagen Beetle to the mechanic and you tell the mechanic, hey, I'm trying to go mud bogging, but my beetle keeps getting stuck. What's wrong with my beetle? Most likely, he's going to say, don't worry, it's a freaking Volkswagen Beetle. So, not a big deal, folks. He could take it, he could modify it, he could make a lot of improvements with that Beetle. If you have a minivan and you bring it to the mechanic and you say, hey, Whenever I go to a stoplight and these punks pull up with their Lamborghinis and Ferraris, they always beat me when I race them. What's wrong with my, mini, my minivan? He's going to most likely say, don't worry, it's a freaking minivan. Get the point, folks. He could take it. He could modify it. He can do things. He may have to work hard with it. But it's never going to be a Ferrari. Um, the, the Volkswagen Beetle is never going to be a, a, Jeep, a Jeep Wrangler. So, just like your dog, your, your beagle may never be a Rottweiler, your Rottweiler may never be an actual beagle. So, we take this analogy and we plug it in to what's going to go on with your dogs. You need to first understand what is normal for all dogs. That's a great point. I mean, I get phone calls all the time where people ask me, Hey, my puppy, he's biting my hands, biting my, my pant legs, all kinds of stuff. What can we do about this? And I always tell them, don't worry. It's a freaking puppy. It's a puppy, folks. So that is normal behavior. But you can take that and not panic and start working with that puppy and have that puppy turn into a, a, great, a great dog. So also besides knowing what's normal behavior for all dogs, you do want to learn what is normal within actual breeds of, of dogs because they all have specific behaviors which are normal to, 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 those, to those breeds. Again, I get the same kind of calls. People call me up and say, hey, my German Shepherd's barking like crazy at the front door. I can't get him to stop. You know, what should I do? Can we do anything about this? And I say, don't worry. It's a freaking German Shepherd. So that's normal behavior for a German Shepherd. But we can take that and work with it and make the most out of that German Shepherd. So this could be true for other breeds of, of, of dogs too. Exactly. It could be a beagle. People call me up and say, my beagle's running around the backyard chasing squirrels, rabbits, all kinds of stuff. What can I do about that? I said, don't worry. It's, it's a, a freaking beagle. Get the point, folks. All right. So you want to learn about your, about your breed of dog, but you also want to understand your individual dog. All of our dogs are individuals, no matter what breed it is. So before you leave this section of knowledge, you want to understand why is my dog being aggressive? Why is my dog being fearful? Why is my dog being disobedient? Whatever it may be, with basic knowledge, it's easy to see. So we encourage you to keep moving along with the system, and we'll see you there.